Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is for my friends at Russian Cold Camo. If you're not familiar with Russian Cold Camo, they're a small American family-owned company out of Wisconsin that specializes in high-quality gear for the outdoors. With that, today we're taking a look at 6E6, the Ratnik Multi-Tool. As you can see, it's a very stout piece of kit. Just by picking it up and holding it, you can tell that this is very, very solid, very well made. Let's go through each of the components. Let's start with our pliers first. To release them, you press in on the handle and pull, pull this tab back and it frees the pliers. There's a spring clip, so you've got a spring action. You've got regular plier teeth up here and then you've got a rounded portion for gripping hold of you know, a rod or a bolt and turning. On the sides, we have two sets of wire cutters. One here that's smaller. And then we have here as well. You probably use this to go through barbed wire, heavier material. Put the pliers back in place. You simply compress the handle, push the tab forward, and it's locked back down. At the opposite end, you've got this flat head right here. So it's kind of like a wide tip flat screwdriver. I'm sure they have a specific purpose for this. You also have a pocket clip. So if you wanted to throw this in your pants pocket, as well as a wrist lanyard with a small ring here. Moving to the side of the handle, we've got two tools. One being a Phillips screwdriver. It's about two and a half inches long. The other being a very nice awl. So you're able to use this to make holes. You can thread it through and use it to do basic repairs. So if your backpack busts out in the woods, you lose a shoulder strap, you'd be able to stitch it back up and get back on the trail stuff breaks out in the woods it's important to be able to do some maintenance you could also use the awl with knots out in the woods so say you had some cordage and you were trying to untie something you couldn't get at it with your fingers you just take the awl and get under it and help pry it apart to where you could untie it On the opposite side of the tool, first up we have a utility blade. Locks in place, it's got a straight edge with a chisel tip, 90 degree spine. There are two grooves for stripping wire and this will take a very sharp hair shaving edge. The blade locks in place with this spring loaded tab, you just compress it down Closes back up. On the other side of the plier handle, we have a multifunctioning blade that gives us two different saws. One that's a bit thicker, more heavy duty for wood, and then a secondary saw blade that it's a bit thinner, a bit finer, which would be good for something like fiberglass, you know cutting tent poles, something like that. Then we have a can opener. And we also have a ruler with 10 centimeters marked out 
that would help aid in navigation in lieu of a protractor with your map reading out in the field. Just like the utility blade, it locks in place with a spring-loaded tab. The multi-tool comes with its own carrying sheath. It's MOLLE compatible. I've got it thrown on my, my survival belt rig here. It seals up with Velcro as well as button snap. So it's safe. And then you see here on the side, inside this little pocket here is this little diamond honing file. So if you need to retouch your edge out in the field, you could do so. You know, if you got a nick or burr in the blade, this would help grind it back out. It's not gonna put the most hair shaving sharp edge on the knife blade, but it'll get it back to where, you know, it's cutting reasonably well. And when I first got the tool, I used this to touch the edge up and then I used a strop to put a hair shaving sharp edge on it. The knife blade, it's got a pretty sharp 90 degree spine on it, which makes it useful for striking your ferro rod. Not my primary blade, but if you needed it, it'll do. Right? Let's take a look at the saw real quick. So we've got about maybe a three and a half, four inch blade on the wood saw, which this isn't gonna be your primary tool for, for cutting wood out in the woods, but as a backup, you know, it's gonna be much better than nothing. There's been times where I've been deer hunting and all I had was my knife and when, when you're processing a, a deer out in the woods, you need a saw for like the pelvis and it would be much better than trying to get through that bone with your knife. I'm about a third of the way through this and this is about, oh, about an inch and a quarter in diameter. So put the saw back and then we'll take our knife back to our saw cut and say we were building a, a deadfall. You could use a saw blade like that to make like a seven notch for a figure four deadfall trap, which would be very useful. And as an added bonus, this tool would also make a very persuasive behavior modification device with three sides of gentle persuasion. Just saying. And there you have it guys, 6E6, the Ratnik multi-tool from Russian Cold Camo. Solid piece of kit. If you have any questions for me about the tool, just let me know down below. I'm happy to help. And I'll have a link down there as well if you want to check it out for yourself at Russian Cold Camo. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hope you're all good. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.